right guys, first thing we're getting started with today is I got the ladder up here. I'm gonna throw some straps over the roof and I'm gonna clean out that chimney. I don't really like heights very much, so I'm gonna use this so I don't fall off the roof. All right, I got the strap up there, so I got something to hold on to. Here's our chimney cleaner we use. We only got one of the little pieces, the little fiberglass rods on the end, and I just, um, I screw the PVC pipe onto it. This is what I'm using today. And first thing I'm gonna do before I start using this is I gotta get that cap off, because that cap is extremely dirty from being used all winter. We're gonna get that off, see if we can get it cleaned. We got the cap off, Errol's got it down there. We're gonna get that cleaned up in a minute. Um, since I'm up here and I got my chimney sweep, I'm gonna sweep the chimney out real quick. This stuff's pretty easy to clean. It comes off really easily. Um, I'll, point your, I'll point the camera down here with the flashlight. We can see what it looks like on the inside. So definitely pretty dirty. It's a whole winter of use and we burn about four cords of wood here. So. Although the view is nice up here, I want to get down, so I'm going to get this thing cleaned. Oh, yeah. It's not going to bite me, right? Where's his other wing? <laughs> no. It's okay. No, no, it hurt. Babe, this is Wayne. I know, I gotta get it out. Honey, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. You're gonna have to hold on. Listen, no. you're gonna have to hold on to him because if he gets loose in here, he's gonna get stuck again. You got honey, it? Honey, So he's free, but there's, there's embedded, it's embedded in his arm. Hurts me. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt him. Just don't want to go flying away. Well, he's hurt. He'll bite you, babe. I know he'll bite Can I, can I just look at his wing and please? Hold on, he's trying to probably get I him out of here. And do it outside. And put him in a box? Okay. Yeah. Come on. You go then. Okay guys, so Eric was up on the roof and he saw a bird in our chicken coop netting and turns out it was a baby. Actually it's not a baby, it's a, like a pygmy owl. It's a small owl. And we got it out. His arm doesn't look that good. He was probably stuck in there for a day, would be my guess, or since last night. So we're gonna bring him to a shelter and they don't open until 11 o'clock today. So we still have about an hour and a half. Um, we're gonna hang tight on him in this box. I, you know, he can't go anywhere right now. And then we're gonna drop him off and hopefully he makes a recovery. Okay guys, we just got done with the owl. He's sitting out in the truck. We're inside. I'm gonna show you guys how much suit came out of that thing. So, I don't know if you can see in here, that big pile came out of the chimney and I believe we have 20 feet of, of chimney pipe. So, I'm going to go up there again, pull that brush out and then go down one more time and then pull it out and then we'll get that cap cleaned off and we'll put it back on top and we should be done outside. We've got the cap for the chimney down here on the ground. As you can tell, this thing's really dirty. And I'm just gonna kind of tap it on the ground and get as much of this as I can off. Then I'm gonna use a paint scraper and I'm gonna use a brush. And if we need to, I'm gonna use some uh, dish soap and warm water to clean it up. When we cleaned our chimney out last year, we were putting in our stove pipe damper and we cleaned out the chimney. We didn't actually clean the little cap. So this thing definitely needed a cleaning. It's coming off pretty easy though. 
and I think it's gonna clean up pretty nice. A uh, little more work on this thing and I think it's gonna be good as new. Got this thing full of water and it's pretty clean. I'm gonna let it soak a little longer. Um, the bird rescue center just opened up, so we are gonna take that owl there and then we're gonna pick up on this project when we get back. We made it back from dropping off the owl at the bird rescue center. Hopefully he's gonna make it and be all right. We got our cap all cleaned off and I also got some high temperature caulking. And what we're gonna be doing with this is using this on the collar that's on top of our wood stove pipe. When we get really hard rains and it's coming at an angle, if it's really windy, we get some dripping inside the cabin. So I'm gonna be fixing that today and we're gonna be putting some of this caulking on there. We got the cap on top of the wood stove pipe, and then this is the collar, this is the piece that I'm gonna be doing the caulking on. And I think the water is getting in through here since there's no seal or anything like that. So I'm gonna be running this caulking around this whole part right here, and hopefully that takes care of the problem for us. So this is the wood stove that we're working with. This is a earth stove and this was made in 1988. So it's exactly as old as I am. And this is actually a pretty big stove for this cabin. Our cabin's only 320 square feet, but there are some perks to having a big stove like that. Obviously you get the heat. Uh, second, we dry our laundry in here in the winter. So it really helps with that. And third, we can fit two huge pots of water on here and always have hot water available during the winter. So we really like this stove, but us using this as a cooktop, you can tell on the top, we really scratch it up and we get water on there and we get a little bit of rust. So today we're gonna to be painting the top of this and this little part here that has some rust on it. We're not gonna paint the whole stove or anything like that. Maybe at a later date we will, but for now we just wanna protect this top section. Another thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking this metal section of the door out and we're gonna be putting a glass door on there, which is gonna be really nice to have in the winter time, give us a little more light in here. And the third thing we're gonna do is be putting new fire bricks in here. The fire bricks that are on the sides in this thing are pretty much just like gone. So I'm gonna first open this thing up and I'm gonna get it all cleaned out, vacuumed out, and then we're gonna start with the fire bricks. Here's the new fire bricks we're putting in and I'm just gonna start piecing them in there, see how they fit. We're trying to get the fire bricks in here and of course we're running into some issues. There's a little lip they gotta fit under and they're not wanting to fit in there and I don't wanna put too much pressure on the brick cause I don't want it to crack on me. So I'm gonna pull it out and I'm gonna chisel just a little bit off of it and see if that works and see if we can get it to fit in here. We got two of them in and pretty much what I'm doing is I took this bracket and I bent it out a little bit so they fit in there a little bit better and then we're just gonna be cutting them as needed. And to cut these, I'm just using a chisel and a hammer and just going real light on them and it seems to work pretty good. Um, so I'm gonna get this bottom one in there and then I know on these front ones, we're gonna have to do some major cutting on these ones because those are a lot smaller and we have an angle up right here. And then we'll get the back ones in and then put these bottom ones back in and we should be good to go. Okay guys, this is one of those projects that just not going our way. So this is an old stove and I'm pretty sure those are the original fire bricks. And I'm pretty sure that this was welded in after the fact. And the little bracket that I got to fit the fire bricks behind on the back, it's like completely bent down. I can't get it to bend up. So I had to get in there with the grinder and cut this piece off. 
So now those back bricks, they should just fit right in. I shouldn't have to cut them at all. I'm gonna see if they fit. We got the back fire bricks in, they fit in there nicely. Now all we need to do is work on the hardest part, I think it's gonna be the hardest part, is this little one right here and a little one right there. We're gonna to have to cut them at a slight angle, I think, to be able to slide them in there. So I'm gonna get the measure to cut and see if we can get them to fit in there. Fire bricks are all in. Next step is we're gonna use some fine grit sandpaper and a little bit of soap and water on a rag and get this whole top section clean, make sure there's no rust, and then we're gonna be painting this top. Okay, so while that's drying, we just wiped it down with some vinegar. Um, that's almost ready to paint. I'm gonna see if I can get this old metal door off. I got these little tiny screws. Hopefully I can get those out. So we're actually really excited to get this little glass door in here. Our old fireplace in Oregon had one on there. It was awesome. You can tell if the fire's going without opening it, you get the extra light. So super stoked to get this thing in. And we actually had this cut at like a um, automotive glass place. Uh, the one up here, they have special glass that's meant for these wood stoves. And I brought them the design and they cut it out. Let's see if it fits in there. Yep. So I picked up this rope. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it's for wood stoves and it basically it's going to wrap around the door. It has a sticky side on it. It's going to wrap around the door like that. And then it's going to pinch on the back side of the door with those little screws that I just took off. So I'm going to see if I can peel this sticky part off and get it stuck on there. There we go. Like it right there. We've got the glass door all finished. We're gonna start painting the stove and we have um, stove paint so it's meant for high temps and I'm just gonna do a couple real thin coats and we'll see how it turns out. We ended up doing about three coats of paint on the wood stove and we are gonna put the door on, see what she looks like.
All right guys, our wood stove revamp and cleaning is all done. We're really happy with how this turned out. We did three coats of paint on there and we're gonna let that dry for a few days, make sure it's really dry. And then we're gonna get a nice hot fire going in the wood stove, cure the paint, and it should kind of dole up a little and kind of blend in with the rest of the paint that's on there. But that's gonna do it for the episode today and we'll see you guys next time.